Hey Glam Fam, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is on the Bombay Hair Deep Waver Hair Tool. It's not even in this box, but this is the Dress Your Face Hair Tool. So this is actually what it looks like. I recently got this, I ordered this from the website when she first released it. So let me just tell you the cost of it. Right now it costs $70. So I don't know, I think that's how much I paid for it too. I ended up getting the set. So the set that I got comes with the waver and then the hair straightener. So so I actually used the hair waver and the straightener before making this video. I used it like two or three times. So today's video is going to be a comparison of these two hair wavers. This one is the Bedhead hair waver. I did a video on this like a few videos back. I ordered this from Amazon and then this one is the Dress Your Face Bombay Hair Collab hair waver tool. So right off the bat, I did use this like twice before making this video and I used this a lot before I'm making this video. That's why I'm comparing the two. So price-wise, this right now costs $70, the Tamanna one, and then this one costs $40 on Amazon. You can clearly tell the difference in terms of quality. This is like plastic here. This is, I don't know what material this is, but this is probably like rubber or something. It's made with tourmaline. This one claims that it's made with ceramic. You can tell the difference in terms of like the material and quality as soon as you pick it up. So that's one thing thing to keep in mind and I know price is a huge factor between comparing the two because this one was 40 this one was 70 and it was only 70 because it was on sale so I'm actually gonna use this hair waver today and just show you guys how I like to use it so this is actually a deep waver so the way you use it is you open it up and you just kind of clamp it onto your hair whereas this one is open and then you just you also clamp it onto your hair and get the waves but it's not like you don't open Open it you just kind of like clamp it as you go so if you guys want to see like how I do my hair using this I did make a video on it in the past but today I'm just gonna use this okay so first of all the temperature setting goes all the way up to 450 which is pretty strong so I'm actually gonna do 430 okay I have two day old hair which means I washed my hair two days ago I put a little bit of dry shampoo in it right now but I'm just gonna go ahead and get into it so I'm gonna start with the front section I'm not doing it in any particular order last time I sectioned my hair when I used the other waver so what you do is you just kind of clamp it onto your hair like so try not to burn yourself this is how the wave looks. If you want it to look deep, what you do, so this is something that she suggested I saw on her Instagram, is you start the new wave where the old one ended. So it looks like it's like kind of flowing together. Otherwise, it's just going to be random waves. And I actually have done it like that too. I like the whole random waves look. I think that looks more natural. But I'm going to kind of try to follow how you're supposed to do it just to see if there's any like difference in how it looks. So you can take as big or as little sections as you want. I'm actually just going to kind of do a variety of it and then kind of come together at the end and make it look better. So one thing about this is, I don't know if you guys watched my last hair waver video, but I rested my finger on the tip here in the last video and it burnt my finger. But this one, it doesn't get hot, so you can rest your finger. I mean, actually, mine is a little bit hot, but it's not, like, hot where I would burn myself from it. So that's one good thing about this. And also, just, again, quality-wise, like, just by holding it, you can tell that this is a lot better quality than the other hair waver. But obviously, I understand if you don't want to splurge like $70 and this is the discount price right now. Again, it's actually original price I think is like $100. So, I mean, I think it is worth it, especially for summer hairstyles because you don't always want to like do the same straightening your hair or like curling your hair or whatever this does give it a really nice like mermaid look and like once I blend it in right now it looks extreme but once I blend it in together it's gonna look really nice so I'm gonna crank up the heat all the way to 450 because I'm gonna do this big section all together and then if it still needs to be a little bit more waved I'm gonna split it and then do it again but the good thing about this is that it's very quick. Like you can finish your hairstyle in less than 10 minutes. 
so that's a really good thing about this kind of hair waver but it is very dangerous because it's huge and the barrels are really big too so that's another thing about this hair waver so clearly you can see that the barrels on this one that I showed you guys from my last video it's a lot thinner than the barrels on this one and this is called a deep waver so of course the results you get from it will be different than the other waver that I showed you guys so that's another thing it depends on like your personal preference if you rather have deep waves or like tighter tousled waves I mean it's totally up to you how you want to do it I'm pretty sure you could get tight waves with this too if you just put it together like it okay so you know how I'm putting it right at the end of the wave to start a new wave if you wanted tighter waves out of this all you would do is just kind of overlap it over and over again and you would be able to get the same kind of effect almost so I just did one side using the Damana hair waver now I'm only going to do like a small section in the front here just to show you the difference between the two wavers side by side but I will finish off the rest of my hair using the deep waver just because I don't want it to look really uneven so again, see how I'm clamping this one? I actually raised the heat in this too. So the heat setting on this waver goes up to 400. And the one on the deep waver set by Tamanda goes up to 450. Which honestly, like I can't see why anybody would want to use 450. I just put it on 450, but it's not good for your hair. So don't do it on 450 like that all the time. Also, sorry for the background noise. I really don't know what my neighbor's doing outside, but okay, ignore this front piece because I actually do need to fix this up a bit. It was kind of like going in a weird direction, but this is the difference in terms of waves. So look at the waves that I got from this side using this waver tool. It's more, I want to say it's more, it looks more crimped up versus this side. So this side is more of like a deep wave. So I mean it's totally up to you how you want to use like the hair waver and how what kind of waves you want to get out of a hair waver. And obviously it depends on the type of barrel that's on the waver. So you can just tell by looking at it that you're going to get different waves using the different tools. So for me personally I like both of them. I I think it would depend on like what kind of look I'm going for or what my mood is with my hair. I still like these waves a lot. I feel like I'm getting more volume from this side because it kind of frizzes up your hair at the same time versus this side. It looks more put together, the waves for sure. But again, it's personal preference quality wise between the two waivers. For sure, this is much better quality. It's probably better for your hair too in the long run, just because like this, it claimed to be ceramic, but I don't believe that it's 100% ceramic. I think it's just coated with ceramic, and this is tourmaline and ceramic. Actually, I don't know if it's ceramic too. Let me check on the label. So it doesn't say in the little pamphlet thing that came with it if what it's made out of, but I know that she is like a heavy and firm believer of using tourmaline styling products. So I think that this is like 100% tourmaline, if not maybe like some percentage of tourmaline in it, which is better for your hair in the long run. Ceramic is not that good for your hair. I know a lot of people think it is, but like even if something says that it's made with ceramic, doesn't mean that it's fully ceramic. It could just be coated with ceramic, which makes it like so that your hair looks smooth when you do it, but then over time the plates will start to crack, they'll start to chip, and then it'll start damaging your hair. So again, this is the difference between the waves that you get. This is the bed head waver side, this is the Tamana Deep Hair Waver side. Obviously, I didn't do a very neat job on both sides, but this is just like a rough idea to help you guys see a comparison between the two if you were interested in buying the products. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this side of my hair using the deep waver and just kind of fix it up because I know some parts need to be redone. Oh, so another thing, like the tutorial she did on how she uses her own hair waver, she said that she like smooths out the top sometimes with the hair straightener and then waves it up so that it looks neater. I don't know if you guys have seen like her video of it or not. I think she posted it on Instagram and also if you're a DYF member on her website, she has like a full in-depth video on how she uses this hair waver. But 
The thing is that like if you want to smooth out the top, you totally can. Another way you can do it using the tool itself is just kind of hold it and press it down. So I'll show you in a minute once I finish this wave. Okay, so what you would do is just go from the area where you want to smooth it, hold it, and just kind of pull it down instead of waving it. And that will just kind of smooth out the top a little bit. I feel like this part looks a little awkward, but it's fine. If you comb out your waves, it doesn't frizz your hair up. Whereas this side with the bedhead side, when you comb out your waves, look at how frizzy it got. Like it just looks really unruly. So I'm just gonna go over this and hope for the best. Okay, so for reference, these are the waves that I got using the deep waver. You can clearly see that these are pretty deep waves. And then I showed you like the section that I did with the other waver. If you want to see my hair fully using the other waver, I do have a video of that. I'll leave it in the description bar below. But final thoughts and like comparison between the two hair wavers, I think they are two different things. You don't get the same results out of both of the hair wavers. But they do give you like the whole beachy, wavy hair look for sure. So I'm just going to show you like maybe from inside. This is a good section that I did. This is a good deep wave. So if you like these kind of waves, then I highly recommend that you check out this product. Price wise, I do think this is worth it because of the quality of it. Like I know that this is made really well. Just by feeling it, you can tell that it's really good quality. It's going to last you a really long time. You can tell right off the bat that this is made very cheap. It's not like, it's probably not going to last you that long, but it does give you good results. And again, the temperature only goes up to 400 so that's another thing this might take you a longer time to do your hair if you have a lot of hair just because of the fact that like the temperature is only 400 whereas with this one it's 450 so again it's totally up to you like what you want out of your hairstyle my take on it I like both I will be using them both like interchangeably depending on the look that I want to go for you probably don't need to uh, spray product in your hair after because once you wave your hair that's it I don't think it's gonna move but unless you have like frizzy hair then yeah you might get like the whole frizzies but another thing that I like to do after I wave my hair instead of using hairspray or something usually I'll just take like a little bit of gel rub it into my hands and kind of work it in my hair just to define the curls a lot better I know I didn't do my hair as perfectly as possible for this video I just wanted to show you like what the difference is between the two but yeah that's it for this video thank you so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this little comparison that I did for you guys oh by the way excuse my ratchet nails throughout this whole video I'm about to actually go get my nails done right now that's why I was kind of rushing with my hair I don't really care how it looks but I think that this looks pretty good the whole beachy messy hair wave I'm also sorry about the background noise I don't know why my neighbor decided to start mowing the lawn today but yeah that's it for this video thank you so much for watching let me know if you have any other like reviews or comparisons or something like that that you want to see from me and I'll see you guys in my next one bye